How you guys doing? It's me, Video Man. Now, this is my very first time I've ever made a pumpkin pie. And I bought one big pumpkin pie this Halloween. And it's kind of late, you know, Halloween's long past. So, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pumpkin pie. Now, I've never done it before, so I'm not an expert. I'm just experimenting. I don't have all the spices that it calls for. I have some. But what I'm gonna do, what I did with this is I stuck it in the oven. I heated the oven up to, let's say about 400. It took, it took about two hours because it's a portable oven. But it did, it did its job. Two hours. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, flip it over, and scoop out all the, you know, pumpkin stuff here. I'm gonna stick it right here in this bowl. I'm gonna mash it up with the masher. I'm gonna use this spoon here to scoop out all the stuff from the pumpkin. Right here. Okay, I'm not putting the skins in. I'm just taking the, the meat out. <coughs> Excuse me. Here are the spices. Now, I don't have all the spices, but I got a few. And this is what I'm going to be using. I believe it's one cup of sugar, one half cup of this. I'm not going to say exactly the amounts because I'm not sure yet. I got to look back at the. Uh, ingredients and I'm going to put them on the uh, on the uh, not the comment but the uh, description below below the uh, the camera here this is an iPad I I would let this video run a little longer but it's I can't do I can't stop it and start all over again where I left off. So I'm using ground allspice, ground cloves, ground cinnamon, vanilla, baking soda, just a little drop, brown sugar. That's not really enough, but I'm going to use it all. Cornstarch. And of course, oh, where's my hand? Oh. <laughs> Dairy Farm Sweet Condensed Milk Full Cream. It's also evaporated milk, and I don't have the evap evaporated milk. That's uh, another thing you could put in there. And of course, two eggs. I don't have eggs. So I'm using the cornstarch as a supplement to help it bind it together. They also say you could use some type of bean. I don't know the name of it, but and you boil it in water and it, I don't know, I saw it on a video. So without further ado, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, by the way, earlier tonight I made uh, rice. That's good stuff right there. It's got peas, it's got all kinds of goodies in it. And I also made cream of crab. Now, it's not fresh crab, it's crab out of a can. It come, I got it at the 99 cent store. I got it for a one dollar. And it was a, you know, just a normal sized can of crab, crab stew. As a matter of fact, let me get the can and I'll, and I'll tell you about it. Oh man, my hands over the screen, shoot. Well, here she is. Now it's a very fancy little thing, but it only cost me a buck at, at the dollar store, at the dollar store. Okay. It's hard to read because of the silver paper. But it's right there. 
semi-condensed cream of crab soup. And the ing ingredients, you know, it's really, really fancy little can. I was so surprised. I've never seen anything like this before, and this is how you cook it. You know, so, pretty fancy. I enjoy that. So, so without further ado, I'm going to make another video, and uh, I'll show you the finished product. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to look at the uh, uh, the recipes down below. Have a nice day, and see you in my next video.